Where did I put that? Oh, I thought I already... Oh, and I can't forget I thought... Oh, how am I ever gonna get this done? Are you sure I can't help? I could... No. Maybe just a... Uh... No, thanks. How about... Just stand over there. But where you'll be out of the way. Ribbon. Ribbon. Where's the ribbon? I got it. Stand over there, where I'll be out of the way. <sighs> my little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. Let me help you clean up? No, you've helped me quite enough. I'm sorry, sis. I just thought that if I could help, I might find my special gift and finally earn my cutie mark. I understand. It's just that I need this time to fill this order without any complications. Okay, all done. Now, back to work. I've lost a lot of time and I cannot have any more interruptions. What now? Oh, sorry. I thought the open sign meant you were open, but I must have been mistaken. <gasps> Fluttershy, forgive me. I was so wrapped up in my work that I forgot you were bringing opalescence back from her grooming. No worries, Rarity. I've left her there in the basket. There. Oh, she looks great. I just don't understand how you're able to do it. I can't get near her without getting a swipe from her claws. <laughs> Did you use... The stare on her? Oh, no. I wouldn't. I couldn't. I, I don't really have any control over when that happens. It, it just happens. No, I'm just good with animals. It's my special gift, you know. Well, you should have a picture of Opal as a cutie mark instead of those butterflies. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I can be good with animals, too. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I can't invite you to stay and chat, Fluttershy. I've bitten off a bit more than I can chew with this order. But you're not eating anything. No, sweetie. It's an expression. It means that I've taken on more work than I can handle. I've got 20 of these special robes to make tonight. They're due in Trottingham tomorrow morning. <gasps> See? I've lined them in this special gold silk. It took so long to make, but I think it adds just the right touch, don't you? These are lovely, but 20 by tonight? How will you get it all done? Well, I... Uh... Oh, 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 maybe I could just... Just stand over here and watch. I'll manage. Well, maybe I should get out of your means so you can work. Hi, Fluttershy. Hi, Harry. Hello, uh, girls. Hey, Sweetie Belle. Scootaloo. Apple Bloom. You ready for tonight? Yep. Cutie Mark planning session is a go. So now does the night we each try to find our own special talent. Even if it takes us all night, I'm ready. You ready? Very ready. Cutie Mark Crusader Sleepover at Rarities. Yay! And look what I made us. Wow! <laughs> That's Whoa. so cool. What does that patch on your cape mean? The Cutie Mark Crusaders! Yay! We're on a crusade, a mission, to find our Cutie Marks. Yep, and look. I lined them with this special gold silk. It took so long to make, but I think it adds just the right touch. Don't you? <laughs> Sweetie Belle, what have you done? That was the last of the gold silk. Oh, now I'll have to make more. Oh, I hope I can make more. I'm gonna have to work all night. Which means, sorry girls, I'm afraid the Crusader's sleepover is canceled. What? 
I just won't have any time to watch you if I want to get these robes delivered on time. But... No buts this time. I'm sorry, Sweetie Belle. It's just the way it has to be. Aww. I, uh, I suppose I could take them for the night. I couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, it's no problem at all. Have you met my sister and her friends? A problem is all it would be. Did I have a problem with Opal? You've seen how well I handle small creatures. I suppose that's true. And I do have a lot of work to do. Come on, it'll be fun. I assure you, they're quite a handful. These sweet little angels. Well... All right. Here you are, Crusader Sleepover at Fluttershy's Cottage! Yay! So cute. Wait for me! Oh, won't this be ever so fun? We can have a nice little tea party and braid each other's tails and sit quietly in color and tell each other fairy tales and... <laughs> hello, Fluttershy. Oh, hello, Twilight. Where are you off to? I'm heading to the Everfree Forest of Zakoras to get some of my favorite tea. <laughs> The Everfree Forest? Uh, you'll be careful, won't you? Of course. How about you? What are you doing with the girls? Rarity has a big order to fill tonight, so I volunteered to take the girls over to my cottage for a sleepover. Wow, sounds like every pony has their hooves full today. Taking care of those three fillies all by yourself? Are you sure you can handle it? What? These sweet little angels. They'll be no problem at all. Problem at all. Okay, girls, uh, what should we do? I'm gonna get my mark first. Uh, girls? Nuh uh. Should we. Uh, uh, girls? Uh, okay, now set up. I'm staying up all night. Me too! Me three! Uh, I know you're excited, but. Uh, girls? Oh, oh, careful with the. Oh, uh, girls? So, what do you wanna do? Play a game? We are the Cutie Mark Crusaders! And we want to crusade for our cutie marks! And, and, and we... Um, yeah, what they said. Mm, I don't know. How about a nice, quiet little tea party? Or we could go adventuring in the Everfree Forest! Yeah! Oh no! The Everfree Forest is much too dangerous. It's filled with far too many strange creatures. But you could go with us and we could catch those creatures. We could be, um, creature catchers. Yay! Cutie Mark Crusader creature catchers! Rawr! I am a dangerous creature from the Everfree Forest. Rawr! Hold, dangerous creature of the Everfree Forest. I am Sweetie Belle, the creature catcher, and I am here to catch you. You can never catch me. I am far too powerful and dangerous. You cannot run from me! Rawr! <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> um, oh, maybe that's not such a... Now, girls, how about we do some nice coloring? No! Come back, dangerous creature, so I can catch you! Never! Careful. You don't... break anything. Sorry, Fluttershy. Yeah, sorry. I guess we aren't creature catchers. Oh, girls, it's okay. I, I know. We could be Cutie Mark Crusader Carpenters. Carpenters? Hammer. 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 doesn't look like a table. We were making a table? Some pony needs to put this thing out of its misery. We are definitely not cutie mark carpenters. Who wants a picture of a hammer on their flank anyway? Well, now that we've gotten that out of the way, how about a game? A game? It's called Shh. What's that? Well, it's a game about who can be quiet the longest. Sound fun? 
I'm the world champ, you know. I bet you can't beat me. <gasps> I lose! Me too! Me free! <sighs> okay, now what can we do? Oh, how about Cutie Marker Slater Coal Miner? Yeah! yeah! No! Aww. Aww. I mean, it's time for bed, don't you think? Aren't you excited to get all toasty and warm in your snuggly, wuggly little beds? Snuggly, wuggly? But we have more exciting to do. We've got plans and capes. Uh, okay. Um, maybe the crusading can wait until morning when it's light and not so dark. How are we gonna find our special talent in our sleep? <sighs> maybe you'll have a lovely little dream about your special talent. But we're not even tired. How about I sing you a lullaby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Hush now, quiet now, it's time to lay your sleepy head. Hush now, quiet now, it's time to go to bed. I know this one. Oh, how wonderful. Why don't you sing it with me? <coughs> Hush oh. now. Some good chickens. Okay, you three. Isn't it about time you got into bed? But please. So, no more crusading for tonight, all right? Yes, Fluttershy. We promise, Fluttershy. Good night, Fluttershy. Okay, good night. Okay, so what kind of crusading do we do next? There's not much we can do from this room. Unless we become Cutie Marker Cider Cottage Cleaners. No thanks. Well, we have to think of something. We can't just waste this opportunity to find out what our special talents are. Hey, girls! Look! Some of the chickens may have escaped. Into the forest! Cutie, Cutie Marker Cider's Chicken Rescue is our go! <sighs> it really wasn't that hard. I mean, all I needed to do was just show them who's in charge. Nothing's gonna get past Fluttershy. Good with animals, good with kids. Wait up! <laughs> hmm, peace and quiet. <gasps> Too quiet. <gasps> Girls? Girls? Elizabeth, she's missing! Girls? Oh no! They must have gone looking for my missing chicken! Which means they must have gone into. the Ever Free Forest! Those girls have really done it this time! They've really bitten off more than they can chew! Oh, just like me! I never should have offered to watch them! Here, tick, 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 tick. What are you doing? Calling for the chicken. That 
That is not how you call a chicken. Oh, and you know how to call a chicken. I know that's not the way. Then show me. I don't have to show you. You're just chicken. And not. Oh, wait. Now I know how to call a chicken. Skidaloo! Skid, skidaloo! That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. You also forgot how to call a chicken. Why, you? Come on, guys. We're not going to find the chicken or our cutie marks by arguing. Maybe that's our special talent. Arguing is not, is too, is not, is too. Anything yet? No. Darn. <laughs> Here, tick, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Girls? Girls? <gasps> Get a hold of yourself, Fluttershy. Just put one hoof in front of the other. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Twilight? Is that you? Oh, Twilight, it is you. Thank goodness you're here. I need your help. The girls are out here somewhere, and I'm afraid that they're... Oh. What's happened to you? Oh, no! If you've been turned to stone, it must mean... Oh, oh no! The girls! Don't move. I'll be back for you. Girls! Is not, is two, is not, is two! Girls! Our special talent is not arguing. Besides, what would the cutie mark of some pony whose talent is arguing even look like? Girls? Girls? Fluttershy? Girls, thank goodness I found you. Fluttershy, what? Girls, we have to leave the forest at once. But we haven't found the chicken yet. There's no time for that. There's a cockatrice on the loose. A caca what now? A cockatrice. It's a frightening creature with the head of a chicken and the body of a snake. Now, come on. The head of a chicken and the body of a snake? <gasps> that doesn't sound scary. That sounds silly. Well, if I ever saw one of them cock thingies face to face, I'd laugh at how silly it was. No, never look one in the eye. You look a cockatrice in the eye. The chicken! Girls, wait! Here, chicken, 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 chicken! chicken. <laughs> there he is! Two chickens? I thought only one escaped. Grab the boat. Yours? You're like the queen of stairs. You're the Stairmaster. Stair We're sorry we snuck out of the house and into the forest. Yeah, we'll listen to you from now on. We promise. Oh, you do, do you? Well, you better, or I'll give you the stair. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> I'm 
that's when it brought you back from stone. This is gonna make quite a letter to the princess. I was wrong about you. You certainly do know how to handle those girls. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? How so? I assumed that I'd be just as good with kids as I am with animals. Boy, was I wrong. I really learned the hard way not to bite off more than I could chew. You and Rarity both. Good morning, Rarity. Did you finish all those capes? Oh, just delivered them. I have to admit, if you hadn't come along, I might not have. Thanks again. Won't you stay for some tea? I really must get back to the shop and clean up. Girls, get your things. Time to go. Girls! <laughs> Girls! <laughs> Time to go! Girls! Your things! Okay, my turn. Girls! Okay. It's time to... Come on. Come on. Girls! Seriously. Allow me. <clears throat> Girls? Yes, Florida. You called? Go and get your things. Rarity's here to see you home. Of course, Fluttershy. Right away. Uh, how did you... How did you do that? I guess I'm just as good with kids as I am with animals. Uh, uh, speaking of which, I could use your help with Opal. Of course. How about later today? <coughs> How about now? <laughs> Come on, Twilight. We're gonna be late for the Nightmare Night Festival! <laughs> Are you that one kooky grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? I'm Star Swirl the Bearded. Father of the Amniomorphic Spell. Did you even read that book I gave you about obscure unicorn history? Um, that sounds important. <laughs> Every pony, great costumes. Happy Nightmare Night, Granny Smith. I should have been asleep five hours ago. <laughs> Pit Squeak the Pirate, at your service. It's my very first Nightmare Night. Since you moved here from Trottingham? No, my very first Nightmare Night ever. <laughs> Get up, Chit Chat. Time is candy. Pinkie Pie, aren't you a little old for this? Too old for free candy? <laughs> Never! Do you like it? Yeah, great costume, Twilight. Oh, you make a fantastic weirdo clown. <laughs> a clown? Look at the borders on these robes. These are hoof-stitched. It's a great costume. <laughs> Grandpa. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Star Swirl the Bearded is only the most important of the pre-classical era. Yay! He created more than 200 spells. He even has a shelf in the Canterlot Library of Magic named after him. Maybe I should start up a pony group to teach ponies about history. I bet every pony would love it. Don't you, Spike? Mm -hmm. mm. I love it. Hey, look, we're here already. Should we get something to eat? <laughs> Twilight! Twilight! Look at our hole! Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> and then we went to Cheerilee's house and we got a bunch more goodies! Didn't we, Pip? Sure did! And then we had to stop and wait for Granny Smith and then we found... <laughs> 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 Granny 
Turbo Dash. That wasn't very nice. Lighten up, old timer. This is the best night of the year for pranks. Look what you did to Spike. <coughs> oh, it's all in good fun. Oh, oh, there's another group over there. Happy Nightmare Night, Applejack. Howdy, Spike. Hey, Twyla. Nice costume. Thanks. I'm a dragon. She means me, Spike. With that beard, I reckon you're some sort of country music singer. <laughs> well, y'all are here. You feel like bobbing for an apple? Thank you, everypony. And welcome to the Nightmare Night Festival. <laughs> Now, all the little ponies who have been out collecting sweets should follow our friend Zakora to hear the legend of Nightmare Moon! Whoa! Her spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> follow me, and very soon you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Listen close, my little dears. I'll tell you where you got your fears of Nightmare Night so dark and scary. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary. Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <laughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, uh, Miss Zakora, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two, so she won't return to come eat you! your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> ah! 
What is the matter with you? Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. I'm gonna go talk to her. Ugh, you can't talk to her. She's Nightmare Moon. No, she's not. I saw the elements of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! And that was a good thing, right? But of course! We could not be happier! Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice! It is tradition to speak using the royal we, and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects! You know, that might explain why your appearance was met with mixed results. I think if you just changed your approach a bit, you might be met with a warmer reception. Change our approach? Lower the volume? Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. Don't worry, Princess. Fluttershy can give you some great pointers. She's delicate and demure with the sweetest little voice. Go away! You can't hear! This year's not welcome on Nightmare Night! Uh, <laughs> Fluttershy, it's me, Twilight! It is you. Oh, Nightmare Moon. Uh, Nightmare Moon? <laughs> Wait right here. Fluttershy? You remember Princess Luna? Charmed! Likewise. Twilight Sparkle has spoken of the sweetness of thy voice. We ask that thou teachest us to speak as thou speakest. Okay. Shall our lessons begin? Okay. Shall we mimic thy voice? Okay. How is this? Perfect. Lesson over. A little quieter, Princess. How is this? Better, right, Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. How about now? Now you're getting it. And how about now? Yes, well done. I thank thee, dear Fluttershy. Our normal speaking voice shall surely win us the hearts of thy fellow villagers. Fluttershy, you've got to hide us. Nightmare Moon is here and... Nay, yeah! children, wait! I mean, nay, children, no, wait! Come on, Princess, time for Plan B. <laughs> No use, Twilight Sparkle. They have never liked us, and they never shall. My friend Applejack is one of the most likable ponies around. I'm sure she'll have some ideas. Oh, careful there, partner. Uh, uh, Applejack? The princess is looking for a little advice on how to fit in around here. Fit in? Really? I mean, <laughs> that's easy. All you gotta do is have the right attitude. Loosen up a bit, be positive, play a few games, have some fun. Fun? What is this fun thou speakest of? Pray tell, what purpose do these serve? Try to land the for the, sp the fighters on the web. You can do it, princess! Your princess enjoys this fun. In what other ways may we experience it? Fire away, princess! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> the fun 
one has been doubled! <laughs> Why don't you try bobbing for apples? We got the best apples in Equestria here, Princess. I ask that thou call us... me... Luna, fair Applejack. Hear me, villagers! All of you! Call me Luna! Luna! Show me to these bobbing apples. Whoa! Hey, gals. Any pony seen Pip? We lost him the last time we had to run. traditional royal canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be canceled forever! going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at him. <laughs> but I want him to be a zombie next year. <laughs> it's not over yet. What are you gonna do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Princess? Leave me be, Twilight Sparkle. Princess, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out how we wanted. But you have to believe me when I tell you that Nightmare Night is one of the most popular celebrations we have. Yes, I can tell by all the adoring shrieks of the children as they run away. Princess. <laughs> No, no shrieking, no squealing or screaming either, okay? There's something I want you to see, and I promise that it's safe, but you really, really, really can't shriek. Do you promise not to shriek? Mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah, the ringleader of the frightened children. Hast thou come to make peace? Pie, you're a genius. No, I'm not. I'm a chicken. 
Princess Luna, I finally figured out why you're having so much trouble being liked. Forgive me if I withhold my enthusiasm. Come with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Gosh, I never thought my very first nightmare night would be my very last. Come, little Pip, now don't you fret. Nightmare night's not over yet. We still have candy left to give, so Nightmare Moon might let us live. Yes, come on, little ponies. What's Nightmare Night without the annual candy offering? You don't want Nightmare Moon to gobble you up, do you? Oh, the rainbow wig just kills it for me. Come on, kids. Doesn't that sound like fun? Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. Citizens of Holyville, you were wise to bring this candy to me. I am pleased with your offering. So pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you. I am not certain that did what you meant for it to do, Twilight Sparkle. Just wait. For what? For for them to scream some more? Oh, uh, Princess Luna, I know there's not going to be any more Nightmare Night, but do you suppose maybe you could come back next year and scare us again anyway? Child, art thou saying that thou likest me to scare you? It's really fun. Scary, but fun. It is? Yeah, Nightmare Night is my favorite night of the year. Well, then, we shall have to bring Nightmare Night back! Whoa! You're my favorite princess ever! She said yes, guys! Yay! See? They really do like you, princess. Can it be true? Oh, most wonderful of... I mean... Oh, most wonderful of nights. Dear Princess Celestia, when you first sent me to Ponyville, I didn't know anything about friendship. I met some pony tonight who was having the same problem, your sister, Princess Luna. She taught me that one of the best things you can do with friendship is to give it to others and help them find it themselves. And I'm happy to report that all of Ponyville has learned that even if some pony seems a little intimidating, even scary, when you offer them your friendship, you'll discover a whole new pony underneath. And even if my star swirl, the bearded costume, didn't go over, this still turned out to be the best nightmare night ever. She wanted to take me under her wing, teach me everything she knows, and become, like, my big sister. I don't know about all that. 
It was a really nice compliment and all, but... I know, I know. But all that stuff I said could happen, right? Sure. Absolutely. I just need to find a way to spend some time with her. You know, so she can see more of my awesomeness. Well, uh, Applejack and I are supposed to be camping up at Winds and Falls this weekend. Maybe I could get my big sister and invite Rainbow Dash, and then you could come too. Really? Sure. I want to go. Well, duh. Of course you can go. And I'll get Rarity to come too. Rarity loves camping. I despise camping. All of that <laughs> nature. Applejack's going with her little sister, but, you know, you don't want to spend time with me. Oh, all right. Oh, of course, I will need to find an outfit more appropriate for roughing it. Ooh. See? Told you she'd want to go. You packed the bug spray? Yep. You got the canteens? Yep. Looks like we're all set then. Hey, Rarity, did you remember to pack? Oh, well, let's see who gets the last laugh when you're absolutely desperate to curl your lashes and you realize you didn't bring your eyelash curler. Well, looks like we're all set now. But what about Rainbow Dash? Isn't Rainbow Dash coming? Of course she is, Sugar Q. She's gonna meet us up at our first campsite. Oh. All right, y'all, let's move them out. The last thousand times you asked that, the answer was no. This time, it's actually yes. There's Rainbow Dash up there right now. All right, Skooloo, just play it cool. Dash, what's up? <laughs> what took you guys so long? Well, some of us didn't pack as light as the others, so we were slowed down a bit. Looks like you'll be sharing a tent with me, huh? <laughs> if that's okay with you. Sure, as long as you don't snore. You don't snore, do you? Nope, no way, not me. Never snored a day or <laughs> night in my life. Then you and I are gonna get along just fine. You have got to be kidding me. Sweetie Belle, do me a dear and see if you can find some fresh flowers for my bedside vase. Hey, Scootaloo, do be a sweetheart and see if you can gather some firewood. <laughs> Seriously, though, can you get us some wood for the fire? Of course. Okay, everybody get comfortable. Because I'm about to tell you the best story you ever heard. Is it about the time when Rarity had wings and then it got ruined and then you saved her from plummeting to her doom? Okay, maybe it's the second best story you ever heard but probably still the scariest. You like scary stories, right? <gasps> mm -hmm. It all happened on a night just like this one. In a forest just like this. And then the olden pony asked, who's got my rusty horseshoe? Not me. Shoot you! <clears throat> Something in my throat. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Good story. Knew you wouldn't be scared. <laughs> Will you jump that cart the other day? You're no. like me. Fearless. Yeah, fearless. <laughs> Don't worry. Rarity is here to keep you safe and shy. Ooh. <sighs> Think it's about time for me to hit the straw. Don't you worry, little sis. There's no olden pony in our tent. Uh, that sure was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> How they were all afraid of the olden pony, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> That's because you're tough, just like when I was your age. Ah! Ah! 
I'm hitting the sack. Come in whenever you feel like it. It's, it's nothing. Just my imagination. And that isn't the thundering stomp of the olden pony. A long trek ahead. Totally gonna be worth it when we get to Winsome Falls. Yeah, totally. Oh. Am I sweating? Oh, I think I'm sweating. Oh, uh, but it's absolutely worth it to get to spend time with my little sister. It's just that this cart feels like it's getting heavier all the time. I don't care if that cart's as heavy as a pack of mules. If we don't get a move on, it'll be dark before we get to the campsite. <gasps> dark? I'll just ride ahead to make sure the path is clear. No, we don't want to be out here after dark, right? Doesn't matter to me. Well, you know, it's for the scary ponies. Fall <sighs> 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 oh. <laughs> asleep. Now, we've got to get to that campsite before dark. than a worm and an apple on cider making day. What gives, Goodaloo? Uh, nothing. I just thought I heard something. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because you seem a little jumpy. Just getting my exercise. You know how important it is to stretch out those hindquarters every so often. <laughs> uh, do you, you need a little help? That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, what are friends for? No need for tents tonight, y'all. We'll just take shelter in that cave. All right! A deep, dark cave. <laughs> Perfect for the story I've got for tonight. All we need is a campfire and we're good to go. Uh, of course. I'll be right back with lots of firewood from the deep, dark, not scary at all forest. Thanks. I 
can do this. On the count of three, I will get those branches. One, two, three! than a Timberwolves toenail. Where's that, Schoolu? <laughs> Here you go. That's it? It's all I could find, because, you know, there aren't that many trees around here. It's all we need. Why don't you sit with Rainbow Dash for a while? Was I? Oh yeah, the scary part. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I tell tonight's story? All right, just make sure it's a horrible one. There once was a really, really nice pony who lived in a bright and sunny land where there are rainbows every day and lots and lots of happy friends. And no offense, but it's not a real campfire story unless some pony's shaking. I've been told that these very woods are haunted by the headless horse. It gallops only at night. If it doesn't have a head, then how in tarnation does this pony know where it's going? It's headless, not brainless. <laughs> Looking for little lost ponies. So where's its brain? Ugh. Fear was dripping from the end. And they were never heard from ever again. <gasps> never? Never. Worry, you'll be safe with me tonight. It's not time for bed yet, is it? Afraid so, Scootaloo. Uh, uh, but we haven't even sung any campfire songs yet. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> 99 buckets of oats on the wall. 99 buckets of oats. Take one down, pass it around. You got 81 buckets of oats on the wall. 41 buckets of oats. Take one down, pass it around. You got 40 buckets of oats on the wall. Just one more song. Anyone? How about a dance contest? I know you love to cut a rug, so how about we mess up a cave floor? I have a brilliant idea. Hide and seek. Who's with me? Uh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, seems like you don't really want to go to sleep tonight. Is there some reason why? <laughs> of course not. I just love camping and hanging out with Rainbow Dash so much that I don't want to waste a single minute with sleep. <sighs> Silly sleep. That's cool and all, Scoot. But this pony needs her shut eye, and she needs it now. This is so unfair. <sighs> I'm falling asleep. Mistaken, but I hope not. 
disappointed. You are so, so much better than the Headless Horse. But what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in Canterlot? I am the Princess of the Night. Thus it is my duty to come into your dreams. Oh, yeah. Wait, this is just a dream? But it feels so real. I assure you that you are asleep. But when you wake, the thing that frightens you most will still exist. Uh, the Headless Horse? Hmm. Is the Headless Horse really what frightens you the most? Mm -mm. I'm afraid Rainbow Dash will find out I'm not as tough as she thinks I am. Every pony has fears, Scootaloo. Every pony must face them in their own way. But they must be faced, or the nightmares will continue. Dream. <gasps> but the headless horse isn't. Rainbow Dash said it lives here in these very woods. It's the Wicked Winnie of the headless horse. <sighs> so it's a horse without a head, which means it doesn't have a mouth. And if it doesn't have a mouth, then it's not a horsey pony kind of horse. But still, it's a horse without a head! Sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just wanted you to hang out with me and see how cool I was so you'd take me under your wing, teach me everything you know, and become like my big sister. But then you started telling those spooky stories and I got scared. I thought I heard the Headless Horse, so I ran out here by myself and... Well, I guess you know the rest. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something, but if you ever tell any pony else, I'm gonna deny it. First time I heard those stories, I was scared, too. <laughs> you were? Sure. I mean, I got over it because I realized pretty quick that if there was such thing as a headless horse, I could totally take it on. So, you're looking for some pony to take you under their wing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might be up for something like that. Really? As long as you don't go falling into any more rivers in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> it is so hard! They think they can beat the two of us? sake. Now take it and stop all your moaning. Thank you. And have a nice day. <laughs> uh. 
what's wrong, Twilight? Ugh, oh, I've gone through every book in Ponyville, Spike, and there isn't a single mention of the mysterious chest that came from the Tree of Harmony, nor anything about keys to unlock it. But something tells me that opening it is pretty important. I hope Princess Celestia has some ideas. If the library in Canterlot doesn't have anything, I don't know where else to look. <laughs> My dearest Twilight, while it would be perfectly lovely to have you in Canterlot once more, I have another option in mind much closer to Ponyville. As you know, the ancient castle that I once shared with Princess Luna lies mostly in ruins, deep in the Everfree Forest. But if you look carefully, you may find a book that could prove helpful to your research, hidden somewhere in what's left of the castle library. <gasps> wow! Look at all these ancient books! It's a veritable gold mine of information! I can't believe it! Woohoo! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> So, uh, Twilight, uh, ready to head home? Are you kidding? This place is perfect! My Little Pony, My Little Pony Tons of fun! A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I'm not gonna move. You move. Uh-uh. There is no way I'm moving. What y'all doing? Rainbow Dash and Applejack are competing for the title of Most Daring Pony! This is the final test! The Bee Stare! Last pony to play wins! I'm gonna need my bees back. But then we'll never find out who the most daring pony is! I'm sorry about that. Well, what do we do now? Don't worry, ladies! I've been keeping excellent score all day! Decimal, carry the two, and... Congratulations! You're tied! Tied? You can't be tied for the most daring pony. I don't know. Numbers don't lie. I'd love to stay and keep keeping score, but I promise to help test the new school bell. I get to ring it all week, non-stop! And I don't even have to take turns because no one else volunteered! <laughs> okay, no problem. We just have to come up with another daring dare. Right. I think I might have an idea of what we can do. Um, Rarity, don't you think it's a little late in the day to be walking through the forest? It is star spider season after all. Though I'm sure you have a very good reason. Simply the most important reason I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, well then I'm happy to help. What is it? I've heard rumors that the castle of the two sisters is filled with the most gorgeous of ancient tapestries in all of pony history. It pains me to think of those magnificent creations rotting away in those old ruins, totally unappreciated. I see. I require your help in borrowing one or two to bring back to the boutique where I can restore them. Maybe I'll even use the patterns as the inspiration for a new line. That does sound very important. Yes, well, <clears throat> maybe not the most important thing in my entire life, but retro ancient classical will be all the rage next season, so it's nothing to sneeze at. <clears throat> um, are you sure you need those tapestries? But of course. Although, I must admit, these ruins are a fright. Look at all the dirt everywhere. <gasps> Angel! Good 
goodness. It's practically an artistic treasure trove of ancient good taste. <gasps> Angel, oh, you really shouldn't have run off like that. Ancient ruins are filled with all sorts of things that can hurt you. You could stub your toe or, or trip on a loose stone. You have to be careful. I don't think I'll need all these candles, Twilight. I was really only scared for a second. Oh, these aren't for you, Spike. We're gonna be studying late into the night, and we're gonna need all the light we can get. Oh, great. Well, here we are. Uh, what's so daring about this place? This is where we got the elements of harmony. When I was just a filly, Granny Smith told me of an ancient legend. When Nightmare Moon was banished, not every last bit of her dark magic went with her. Granny used to say, when night falls on the castle, that magic takes the form of the Pony of Shadows! You mean like a ghost? No pony knows. Ugh. <gasps> this one is perfect. Well, it certainly could use some restoration. Be a dear. Fly up there and lift it off that hook. Maybe from below? I don't see what's so daring about an old legend. Plus, I don't believe in ghosts. You might want to rethink your position on that. <laughs> that right Run! Ow, I think I hurt my wing. Oh my dear, I am so sorry. That tapestry is far too heavy. We'll just have to find a smaller one. Oh, of course. Where, pray tell, did you disappear to? What do you mean? While you were struggling under that fabric, the entire wall spun around. You must have activated a secret door. Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose these ruins are chock full of them. Really? Absolutely. We must use the utmost care as we can. Ah! Uh, okay, so maybe the legend is true. Well, that's why I brought you here. I guess only the most daring pony of all could stay in this castle all night without being scared off. Scared? I'm not scared. Well,. Me neither. Then it's settled. Whoever stays in the castle the longest is the most daring pony. Deal. But it's gonna take a lot more than some shadowy ghost pony to get me to leave. Me too. Huh. Find anything, Spike? Uh, nope, nothing yet. Ah! Angel, what are you doing here? <gasps> Whoa. The Journal of the Two Sisters. <gasps> Maybe this is the book Princess Celestia was talking about. I sure hope you're not afraid of the dark, Applejack. I can't say that I am. But even if I was, I'd be at least 50% less scared of it than you, Rainbow Dash. I don't know how all that math works because I'm not scared at all. Me neither. Huh? What's the matter? It's just a dark hallway full of disembodied pony legs. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this castle doesn't want my expertise. Oh dear. Angel? Rarity, have you seen him? I'm not sure he made the trip down with us, dear. Oh goodness! We have to find him. An ancient castle is no place for a bunny. He could get hit by falling debris, or the floor could give out under him. Oh! He could be trapped in a dark place with no way out! I can only imagine how that might feel. Hmm.
Applejack, if you're scared, you can just admit it. You don't need to put your hoof around me. Uh, I'm over here. somewhere in this dangerous old castle. He could be trapped under a crumbling statue or stuck high in a tower without food or water or any friends at all. Spike, you've got to hear this. I love to duck behind the paintings, and though the Hall of Hooves still gives her a bit of a fright, the trapdoor slide is Luna's favorite. Hall of Hooves? Soon the organ to the outside will be finished. I can hardly wait. What's the organ to the outside? I have no idea! You hear that? You mean the creepy sound of a haunted pipe organ? Uh, maybe. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Twilight, did you hear something? Oh, Spike, quit being such a scaredy dragon. This castle is thousands of years old and half of it was destroyed by Nightmare Moon. Of course it makes strange sounds. It's practically falling apart. <laughs> okay. Angel. I'm sure we'll find him. Angel? <laughs> Did you find Angel? Is he okay? <gasps> they are perfect! No castle in its right mind could possibly object to my restoring such exquisite works of art. Oh, they're lovely, Rarity, but I have to keep looking for Angel. Oh, I hope he doesn't think I've given up on him. I'm right behind you! <laughs> Do you think there's a single room in this castle that isn't filled with terrifying things? Whoa! <laughs> it's just old pony armor. What's the big deal? Yeah, it's not like it's gonna come to life or anything, right?
Equestria, this is by far the most ungrateful. <laughs> Sarcasm, Spike. What got into them? It's okay, Angel. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah! Shadows everywhere. Twilight must save Angel. Oh, Fluttershy, what are you doing here? She's with me. <sighs> Thank you. Have you all spent the whole night running around scaring each other? Well, that depends. On what? On whether or not you're the Pony of Shadows. What's the Pony of Shadows? Oh, that's just an old pony's tale. Then who's playing that? We're going to find out. Again. Oh, I can't believe I was so frightened. Guess I let my imagination get the best of me. I think we all did. I always let my imagination run away from me. Then it comes back with cake. Well, it's good to know that whenever your imagination is getting away from you, a good friend can help you rein it in. And even though I didn't find anything out about the mysterious chest, I'm glad I was here to help all of you. You certainly did that, Twilight. Yeah! Why weren't you scared? 
Reading Celestia's diary made it hard to be afraid, because I knew what it was like when she and Luna lived here. Knowing something about the past made it easier to deal with my problems in the present, even the scary ones. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. I just thought of a great idea. Why don't we keep a journal, just like the Royal Pony Sisters? All of us? Sure, that way we can learn from each other. And maybe someday other ponies will read it and learn something too. What a splendid idea. I know what my first entry will be. Dear Diary, I'm glad Granny Smith's legend wasn't true. Me too. Me three, because that means you two are still tied for most daring pony! <laughs> Shadow ponies. How ridiculous is that? Do, but these aren't just your everyday ordinary fruit bats. They're vampire fruit bats. I'll be darned if they think they're gonna sink their fangs into my blue ribbon apple. Whoa! Oh, awesome! This here's our entry into the Appaloosa State Fair's produce competition. You know how much TLC goes into getting an apple to grow like this? Applejack! When you go big, you really go big. Them vampire bats want to shrivel it up like a raisin. Oh, I'm sure if we just let them know how special that particular apple is to you, they'll leave it alone. Yeah, right. Be my guest. Um, excuse me, Mr. Vampire Bat. We were just wondering if maybe you wouldn't mind leaving that really big apple alone? Well, what'd he say? Um, yes. Huh? But it could have been a no. Oh. This is the first vampire fruit bat I've ever met, and, well, it might take some time for me to really understand their language. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, this pest and his vermin friends are gonna go after my prized apple. And while they're at it, every other apple in the orchard. These vampire bats are nothing but a bunch of monsters. Monsters? Oh, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? No, I do not. The vampire bats will give you a fright. Eating apples both day and night. They rest for a minute, maybe three. Then they're eating every apple in your apple tree. They don't care about nada, not zilch, no nothing. Except bringing about an orchard's destruction. Now wait just a minute, there's another side to this. 
And if I did not defend them, then I would be remiss. These bats are mamas and papas, too. They care for their young just like we ponies do. Oh, give me a break, you're being too kind. These creatures have a one-track mind. The orchard is not their restaurant. But do they ever think what others may want? No, they don't. And that is just a fact. These bats, they simply don't know how to act. That's where I have to disagree. They're loyal to their family, spreading seeds both far and wide. You see one coming, you better run and hide. They're big and ugly and mean as sin. Will you look at the state my trees are in? They help your trees. They'll grow stronger, faster. They've turned my life to a total disaster. Well, I for one don't have a doubt. These vermin must be stamped right out. I second that they've got to go. These bats, they've got to hit the road. It comes down to just one simple fact. They've crossed the line. It's time to fight them Stop back. Stop the bats. Stop the bats. One simple fact, they cross the line, it's time that we attack. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I believe Applejack has made the better argument. These vampire fruit bats sound downright dreadful. So let's get to rounding them up so that they don't destroy the rest of my orchard. Fruit bat roundup, fruit bat roundup! Um, excuse me, but um, what if instead of rounding them up, we let them have part of the orchard? Have you lost your pest-loving mind? They're only here because they're hungry. If we build a sanctuary for them, they could have their own apples to enjoy. After a while, they could even help the rest of your orchard. The vampire bats don't eat the seeds of the apples, and when they spit them out, they grow into even more productive apple trees. Listen, Fluttershy, that sounds real nice and all, but every second we spend building this so-called sanctuary, is a second they'll spend destroying Orchard. You don't know what it was like the last time there was an infestation, but Granny Smith has told me enough stories about it that just the thought of it gives me nightmares. Granny says we lost a huge section of Orchard that year. They had to ration out apples all winter. What about the cider? There was still cider, right? Not a drop. No cider? No cider? We need to round up these monsters and we need to do it now! If Granny Smith wasn't with Apple Bloom and Big Mac checking out our produce competition in Appaloosa, she'd be here telling us to do just that. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I think Applejack is right. I just wish there was another way we could convince them not to eat them in the first place. Maybe there is. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is that I found a spell that can get the vampire fruit bats to stop wanting to suck the juice from the apples. But in order for the spell to work, I need the bats' full and complete attention. <gasps> oh, no. Fluttershy, I need you to do your stare on the bats. Oh, gosh. I don't know. What's the problem? You've used the stare plenty of times before. Yes, but it's not something I take lightly. I've made a vow not to use it except in dire circumstances. This circumstance is plenty dire to me. Me too. Think of the cider. Oh, somebody, please think of the cider. I'm sorry. I just don't like the idea of taking away the thing that really makes the vampire fruit bats vampire fruit bats. It just feels wrong. But if we don't do this, there won't be any apples left for any pony here in Ponyville. Doesn't that feel wrong, too? So what's it gonna be, Fluttershy? Will you do your stare on the bats or not? Um, um, okay, I'll do it. Good choice. I knew you wouldn't side with those icky bats. <laughs> They're not icky. First round of side is on me! Hold 
hold it right there. We gotta round up these beasts with wings first. Time's a-wasting. we need is for you to do your stare. Um, oh, are you sure I really need... Okay. I really, really, really hate to do this to you. I just hope you can forgive me. Good. Now you go, Twilight. All right. You. Uh, don't mention it, Applejack. It was my pleasure. Really? Now all we gotta do is sweep up these cores so I can start bucking fresh tomorrow morning. Happy bucking day, take two. <laughs> yee Time to collect those juicy sweet apples. <laughs> The spell didn't work. Your darn tootin' the spell didn't work. I think we're gonna have to take more extreme measures. I hear you, Applejack. Come on, everybody. Let's track down those vampire bats. Wait a minute. I don't think these bats are the ones that suck my apples dry. But if the vampire bats aren't eating your apples, who is? Fluttershy, you're our animal expert. Do you know of any other creature that might be capable of this? I'm sorry, I don't. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll have to catch whoever it is in the act. And how do you propose we do that? A stakeout. Witching hour. Maybe we should just call this off. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but I'm really hungry. Oh, Fluttershy, it'll be okay. Don't forget, darling, we're all in this together. That's right. No pony leaves this orchard until we solve this mystery. Agreed? Agreed! Does every pony have their pony signal? Now remember, Pinkie Pie, only use a signal if you see something suspicious. I got it! Something suspicious! All right, now every pony split up. We'll each patrol our own row of the orchard. Whoever or whatever's destroying my apples has gotta be here somewhere. I have a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling about this. That apple, it 
looks so juicy and sweet. <laughs> Obviously, no need to worry about that shadowy figure overhead. <laughs> Maybe there is! I think I'll just go see how Rainbow Dash is doing. Uh, who's there? Answer me! Or you'll regret it! Fine! Have it your own way! Take that! You! 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 Scarecrow? Oh. <gasps> Applejack, what is it? Come down when she's ready. Let it bang on the loose! Run by Anna! Pinkie Pie, calm down. See? She's back on her branch. She's just biding her time, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Pinkie Pie, bats don't eat ponies. Not even vampire bats. But maybe vampire ponies eat other ponies! I'm not taking any chances! <laughs> How did this happen? That's what I don't understand. I think this was actually our fault. Our fault? And how'd you figure that? Okay, so this is me, these are the bats, and this is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to go right onto the bats like this. But somehow the spell must have backfired. It took the vampire fruit bats' desire to be vampire fruit bats and transfer that desire into Fluttershy. Come on, we'll reverse the spell and make it right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's save Fluttershy before the thing eats us all! Keep the deck! <laughs> Follow that bat! Believe we lost her. Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? Look out! No! If she keeps this up, your whole crop will be gone in no time. That's the least of my worries. I just want my friend back. We'll never get her back unless we corner her and catch her so I can reverse the spell. There she is. There she goes! Oh, this is no use. I think the only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way to lure her closer to us. But even if we can lure her to us, how are we going to get her to stay still long enough for you to do your reverse spell? Oh, if only we had Fluttershy to do her stare on the Flutter Bat! <gasps> That's it! Okay, let's get our friend back. Action stations! 
so much for having the winning apple in the Appaloosa State Fair, huh? <sighs> Sorry I didn't take your suggestion in the first place. And don't forget, now you'll get seeds that will grow into even bigger and better apple trees. Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, more cider too. <laughs> okay, got the part about the spell, Fluttershy turning into a bat, building the sanctuary. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution was a little short-sighted. And that you shouldn't let any pony pressure you into doing something you don't think is right. Sometimes you have to tell even your closest friends no. Now, how about we celebrate our stronger-than-ever friendship with a nice, ripe, juicy apple? Stand back! I want to suck its juice! <laughs> <laughs> hear ye, hear ye! This meeting of the Cutie Mark Crusaders is now in session. Who wants to do roll call? I'm pretty sure we're all here. Yeah. Apple Bloom, what's this all about? Oh, nothing. Except this letter from Bam Seed saying she's got her cutie mark. What? She says it's a pair of scissors. So she's good at cutting stuff? Of course. She was always fussing with her bangs and tail. I'll bet she grows up to be a celebrity stylist. But if she spends all her time cutting hair, who's gonna run the main head in CMC's? Well, not Babs. She can't be a cutie mark crusader if she's already got her cutie mark. Oh, well, I guess you're right. I'm glad she's happy, but I sure wouldn't want to be up to my flank and mane hair all day. Can you imagine getting stuck with a cutie mark you didn't like? No. Or at least I hadn't. Don't worry, Apple Bloom. Most of your family is apple-related cutie marks. I bet yours will be too. And what's not to like about apples? There's the core, and sour apples, and rotten apples, and apples with worms in them. What? Not helping. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I guess I just spent so much time worrying about how to get a cutie mark. I never even thought about what would happen after. There's just so many things I never considered. I'm sure there are, but you don't need to... What if I finally get my cutie mark and I don't like it? What if I get my cutie mark and no pony likes me? Well, that's just ridiculous. What if the Crusaders drift apart? 
I mean, we won't really be the Cutie Mark Crusaders anymore. <gasps> what if it's not an apple? Will I have to move out? Where will I live? All right, that's enough, Sugar Cube. Those are way too many questions to answer all in one night. But And no pony's gonna make you move out. Are you sure, Applejack? Of course I'm sure. Now get some sleep. You'll see. Everything will be better in the morning. Hush now, little sister, you're loved by all you know. You'll never lose their friendship no matter where you go. There ain't no call to worry, so don't you cry or fret. A cutie mark won't change you no matter what you get. tell you. A good night's sleep will fix just about it. Well, no wonder you were so worked up. What? What is it? Looks like some pony got her cutie mark. Oh, I can't believe it. I got my cutie mark. I got my cutie mark! I have no idea what it means. I know what it means. It means I can retire. <laughs> Infestations? You mean like parasites? <laughs> Please, any pony with a trombone can get rid of parasites. I'm talking about the serious stuff. You ever hear of? Twitter mites. Twitter mites? Pest ponies like you and me are the only things keeping these live wires from destroying half of Equestria. Pest ponies? It's no easy trade. Even the best of us yearns for the day they can move on to greener pastures. Oh, now that you're here to take over, my day has finally come. Take over? You're gonna need to stop repeating everything I say and pay attention if you want to learn anything. I'm sorry. I guess this just wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> well, don't worry. With a cutie mark like that, I'm sure you got the touch. The touch? Oh, sorry. Now, you're gonna need to be quick. Once these things get out, it can get pretty shocking. Yeah. And the farther apart they spread, the more powerful these ghosts will get. What do I do? And call them back, of course. Looks like you're all set. Drop me a note sometime at the Piney Shade Retirement Community. Now, hold on. I'm sure this job is real important, but I don't think I want to call bugs for the rest of my life. Hey, where'd he go? Well, well, well. Look at the new bug pony. It's Pest Pony. Uh, it sure is. Ew. I might have known you'd end up with the worst cutie mark ever. Whenever you need a friend, you can just go out and catch one. That's not funny. Here, friend, 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 friend. Stop it. Here, Bug. Here, Bug. Will you be my friend, Bug? Because no pony else will. <laughs> you know what? My cutie mark isn't the worst. You two are. I hate to 
to think that Dom Tiara is right, but at least Cutie Mark sure isn't what I was hoping for. Why should you have to keep it then? Jose! What do you mean? If your Cutie Mark bothers you so much, get rid of it. Some serious magic. tell you. A good night's sleep will fix just about... <gasps> well, no wonder you were so worked up. What? Looks like some pony got her cutie mark. Again? I mean, I did? Woohoo! Potion making! Now that's more like it. More like what? Never mind. I'm just glad Princess Twilight's lessons finally paid off. I expect you want to run off to the clubhouse and tell your friends all about your new cutie mark. But before you go, make sure you do all your... chores. Woo Why all the excitement? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Except this brand new cutie, Mark! That's wow. amazing! Woo-hoo! Oh, oh, so cool. I don't suppose either of you got yours. Nope. Me neither. I know it's silly, but I always hope we get our cutie marks together. Me too. But I'm still super excited for you. Absolutely. I know. Let's call this meeting to order. I'm sure the three of us can figure out how to get two more cutie marks. Um, yeah. The thing is... What? Well, you can't be a cutie mark crusader if you've already got your cutie mark. Oh, yeah, just like Bab Seed. Well, I can just sit quietly in the corner while you two figure out what you're gonna do. Well, technically the clubhouse is for crusaders only. Oh, right. I guess I should just come back later then? Why? I mean, you can't come in then either. Oh, rules are rules. I don't even think we're still supposed to be friends. What? Sweetie Belle! Scootaloo! Come on, Phillies, this isn't funny! More trouble with cutie marks? No. I mean, yeah, I mean, well, I got mine, but my friends didn't get theirs, and now there's all kinds of trouble. 
Sounds to me like cutie marks and trouble are two peas in the same pod. I guess so. I mean, if I was a blank flink again, there wouldn't be a problem. Your wish is my command. Hey, Apple Bloom, why'd you want to meet here? Well, us blank flanks have to meet somewhere. Um, actually, Apple Bloom, we both sort of got our cutie marks. You did? What are they? Oh, we don't have time to go into all that. And we certainly don't have time to hang out in an old clubhouse. Yeah, we've got responsibilities now. But maybe we'll see you later. Much later. Wait! Hold on! I can get my cutie mark back, I think. Oh, I mean, I got it once, right? Oh, just wait a second! is going on? I'm not so sure sleep is the cure-all Applejack thinks it is. Uh, Applejack? I know you said sleep is supposed to make me feel better, but I'm pretty sure it's making me feel worse. See? Now what did I tell you? A good night's sleep will fix... Well, no wonder you were so worked up. What? Didn't you hear what I said? I was trying to... Well, what do we have here? What is it, Granny? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Right, Applejack? Right. Nothing at all. Right, Big Mac? Truth is, Apple Bloom, it's your cutie mark. Yup. Oh, no. What is it now? Well, I'll tell you what it ain't. It ain't no apple. Nope. What? And we don't have room for non-apples. Nope. Time for you to mosey on. You can't stay here. But this is my home. Oh, and you're gonna have to change your name. Yep. I think just blue has a nice ring to it. Don't you, Applejack? Yep. All right, this is getting ridiculous. to not get a cutie mark. What the? Shadow. Princess Luna? My shadow? What do you mean? It's just me? You mean I've been doing all this to myself? Of course, Apple Bloom. It's your dream. Why don't I just wake up? 
Sometimes we can worry about a thing so much the fear can make us feel like we're trapped in a nightmare. I don't suppose there's anything you're particularly afraid of, is there? Yeah... I guess I'm pretty worried about getting my cutie mark. Well, that is the same as worrying about who you are. That is all a cutie mark is. If you cannot accept who you are, your life might seem like a bad dream. But if I like who I am, do you think other ponies will too? Of course. Then it doesn't matter what my cutie mark is! Indeed. But that's so simple. I must be the only pony in the universe that's worried about her cutie mark. Oh, I wouldn't say that. It's been a busy night for us all, but I think it's time to bring it to a close. Princess Luna! I know you've all had a lot on your minds tonight, but I think Apple Bloom has something she'd like to share before you wake. We're still asleep? Cool! Well, I guess I should call this dream meeting of the Cutie Mark Crusaders to order. <laughs> I know we all got pretty anxious when we found out Babs got her Cutie Mark, but I, for one, don't want to have nightmares every night from now until we get ours. Me neither. And even though we're all a little scared, a Cutie Mark won't change who we are or how every pony feels about us. It's lucky we're all scared of the same things. That way we can help and remind each other to just be who we are. And when the day comes that you all finally get your Cutie Marks, you can be sure they'll fit you to a T. Exactly. Do you fillies think that Babs is worried or scared about some of this stuff? I know. Let's put together a care package for her. That way she'll know she isn't alone. We wouldn't want her to think that just because she isn't a crusader, we can't still be friends. But, uh, maybe we should wait until we wake up. Good idea. No call to worry, so don't you cry or fret. Cutie Mark won't change me, no matter what I get. Well, it sure looks like some pony's feeling better. You have no idea. See? Now, what did I tell you? A good night's sleep cures just about everything. I guess so. I just wish it hadn't been so exhausting. Greetings, Tantibus. I am ready. Do your worst. Princess Luna's turning into Nightmare Moon! Again! <laughs> yeah, well, we've got the cure for that.
What is it doing? No! It's gone! <laughs> what? My dream ended happily? That cannot happen! My little pony, my little pony Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Ooh, this is amazing! <sighs> yeah, Rarity. Thanks for setting all this up. A grooming day for our pets really was a great idea. <laughs> oh, my! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get my normal beauty sleep last night. You know, oh, I didn't sleep well either. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm totally beat, too! <laughs> All right, Winona. Time for your brushing. Oops. I guess I'm too plumb tuckered out to do this right. I even went to bed early last night, but then I had a really scary nightmare. Me too! Yeah, only, you know, I didn't think mine was that scary. Well, mine sure was. There was this blue smoke monster and... What? I dreamt about a blue smoke thingy, too. Me, Me too. too! So what? Probably just a coincidence. That's an awfully big coincidence. Huh. I wonder why I didn't have that nightmare. I slept great! So then, what could have given us all the same nightmare? I don't know, but I do know who might. Spike, could you send a scroll to Princess Luna? Sure. I'll set. Dear Princess Luna, last night my friends and I all dreamt of a creature made of blue smoke. I'm sure you're very busy, but uh, when you have the chance, please let me know if you have any idea what it could mean. Yours, uh, Princess Twilight Sparkle. You can leave out the yawns. Which of you saw the creature of blue smoke in your nightmare? Wow, that was fast. We all did. Not me! Ugh, we no. know! So you've encountered the smoke monster too? The Tantibus is a creature of my nightmares. It escaped from my slumbers yesterday. But how did it get into ours? The Tantibus is like a parasite. My dreams must no longer be enough for it. Now it seeks others to infect and corrupt. It must have learned of you six from seeing you in my dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're saying is, he dreamt about all of them and not me? <laughs> the so smoky gave us bad dreams. No biggie. I saw that the Tantipus had grown more powerful, but I did not realize that power was enough to enable it to escape my dreams. If its power grows, it could very well find a way to escape into the real world. It could turn all of Equestria into a living nightmare. Okay, 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 I take it back. That does sound bad. Really bad. We've prepared everything exactly as you requested. Good. As you six slumber here, I will pursue the creature into whichever of your dreams it infests. Speaking of princesses, aren't you going to ask Celestia for her help as well? There is nothing my sister can do. She has no power in the realm of sleep. Only I can move from dream to dream. I am afraid no pony can help me tonight. Even us? Especially you. You have all suffered so much because of me. You need only slumber while I hunt the Tantibus in your dreams. I know you said no pony can help, but I'm no pony. 
I'm gonna stay up and watch over you guys just in case. Oh, thank you, Spike. <sighs> One good thing about not sleeping well last night. Shouldn't be too hard to fall asleep now. Are you kidding? This is so exciting, I don't know how I'm ever going to... Then let's stop it! No, please. I don't want you to suffer any more because of me. I will catch it. It has jumped into another dream. I am sorry, but if I am to stop it, I must follow it where you cannot. Go! I shall be able to handle things here. I followed the Tantibus here. Now I need only fine. Sorry, can't help it. An idea popped into my head and. Oh. what I call an incredible dream. has already turned your slumbers into a nightmare. What are you talking about? This is my favorite drink. <laughs> we are such happy flowers. We will now sing for hours. Aren't we unbearably cute? Watch me so low on jazz flute.
I am so sorry, my friends. I failed. It will be back to infect your dreams the next time you sleep. Oh, no! Yeah, I reckon I could live without seeing that thing ever again. But you will. Again and again, every night, until it grows powerful enough to infect the waking world. After what I did as Nightmare Moon, the fact that I am once again responsible for harming others is more than I can bear. It'll be okay. Every pony makes mistakes. But as long as none of you dreamt about another pony, the Tantibus remains confined to your dreams. I still have a chance to catch it before it's too late. Phew, that's good to hear. Although after you left, I did happen to dream that I was eating a giant ice cream cone with the old pony bill while taking a test we hadn't studied for. See, what I tell ya, every pony makes mistakes. <laughs> But that means the Tantabus could be turning every dream in Ponyville into a nightmare. It is far worse than that. Infecting all those dreams gives it more and more power. Soon it will be able to escape into the real world and infect Equestria with its nightmare plague. Then you must let us help you stop it before that happens. But how? The Tantabus was able to escape Luna when it only had six dreams it could get to. It is true. With so many dreams to hide in, I do not know how I can catch it. Hmm. What if every pony in Ponyville were having one dream? I can create shared dreams, yes. But for so many ponies at once, I have never done anything like that. The amount of power it would take. Well, it is worth a try, isn't it? Of course. I will do anything to end this, including accept your help. I cannot allow the Tantibus to escape into the real world. All of you must now go back to sleep and hope that I can create such a dream. familiar. Yep. Ponies! Princess Luna! There is no time for bowing, my friends. There is something coming. Something terrible. No. It is already here. I truly wish I did not have to ask this of you! Then you're in luck. Yeah! We're already on it! <laughs> Please! I'll pay you anything! Powerful enough to escape. 
escape into the real world. How are we even going to know when it's able to escape? No pony in Ponyville has your magic or your speed. That's true. In Ponyville? But this here isn't Ponyville. It's a dream. Yep. And not just any. This is your dream. Anything you can do in your dreams, you can do now. Well, if you're going to dream, might as well dream big, right? after Luna said that. I think it's feeding off your guilt, Princess Luna. If that is so, then perhaps that is how it grew strong enough to escape in the first place. Say what now? I created the Tanibus to give myself the same nightmare every night. <laughs> to punish myself for the evil I caused as Nightmare Moon. But why would you do that? To make sure I never forgave myself for how much Equestria suffered because of me. But it seems I have not learned my lesson. For now I have only made you suffer more. But that means you might just be the key to stopping all this. Yeah! If it gets strong because you feel bad about what you did as Nightmare Moon, then you just gotta stop feeling bad for what you did! How can I forgive myself? I am no better now than I was then. My creation is about to turn the world into a living nightmare! But look at what you're doing! Nightmare Moon would have wanted the Tantibus to turn Equestria into a nightmare. You're doing everything you can to stop it. Don't you see? That proves you're not the same pony you were then. Every pony who knows you knows that Nightmare Moon is in the past. We all trust you, Luna. Do you trust us enough to believe we're right? I do. Thank you. Thank you all. I'm not exactly sure what she did. Luna created the Tantibus to punish herself. The worse she felt, the more power it had. 
But once she finally forgave herself for what Nightmare Moon did... Poof! Shh! Huh. Wonder what she's dreaming about now. Twilight, y'all done it up nice and cozy in here. We're about to hang our hearth swarming dolls, if you want to join us. Well, that's mighty sweet of you, but we're just stopping in to wish y'all a happy hearth swarming before we go. I think it's sweet that your families are spending the holiday together. Picture the most fun-tacular thing you can think of. Now multiply that times infinity! Wow! It's gonna be great! That's us. See you later. Now can we open presents? But tonight is heartswarming Eve. Every pony knows you don't open presents till tomorrow. When Spike and I spent our first heartswarming Eve together, he couldn't wait all night to open his presents. Ever since then, we've always opened them the night before. It's kind of like our tradition. That's not how our family does it. And I reckon it can't be how Pinky's does it. Is it? No, sir. -ee! To each their own, I suppose. Just what I always wanted, a book. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Chancellor Puddinghead Puddings, how about a Windigo Frosted Snow Cone? It's so exciting. Related or not, it's going to be a hoop having our families together under one roof. Apples and pies together again for the first time, maybe. Unless we're related, which maybe we're not. I think I just confused myself. Friends or family, this here's about togetherness. Have you tried the Equestria Flight Crepes? The blue is blueberry. And don't tell Granny I saw, but her trunk is full of presents. Now hang on, Sugar Cube. You know heartswarming isn't just about candy and presents, right? Uh-oh. That's your boring sisterly lecture voice. Afraid so. <clears throat> A long time ago, the Earth ponies, Pegasus ponies, and Unicorn ponies weren't friends. I don't like you! I don't like you either! But then, the icy chill of the Wendigos almost iced up everything. So the ponies decided to work together and their friendship drove them nasty critters away. Beat it, Windigos! Triumphant, they raised a new flag to celebrate all three tribes, and Equestria was born. Uh, what happened to the flag? I don't know. <laughs> Is that why we celebrate with a flag raising tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And tonight, we'll have the traditional Hearts Warm and Eve dinner to remember the shared bounties of our ancestors. We do that, too. Then, we'll hang our hearth warming dolls over the fireplace to remind us of the warmth shared on that faithful night. That's what our family does, too. And tomorrow, we open presents. Uh, we do that, too. Sounds like the apples and the pies do everything the same way. Of, of course. course. We, we might, might be related. Hey, I, I was, was going to say, say that. that. Stop, Stop saying, saying what, what I'm saying. saying. You, you stopped. <laughs> I'm so happy, I need to make up a new word for how happy I am. What about rooftastic? Rooftastic? As in, I gotta get on the roof and yell to everybody, how rooftastic! 
don't like each other. We are friends, Applejack. And after tonight, our families are going to be friends, too. Do you know what that means? Number of apples times number of pies is 24 minus my pre-existing friendships plus one for bond, and you make five from 24 is... <gasps> 19 new friendships! Mod! I'm so excited to see you, Pinkie Pie. You too, Applejack. I hope you had fun sledding yesterday. How'd you know that? Isn't it obvious? There's specks of extrusive andesite on your hoof. It's a mountain rock. Oh, she's good. How's school going? If you thought quartz was high on the Mohs hardness scale, wait till I tell you about corundum. I miss you so much! <laughs> This looks amazing. Come on, everypony. Be my super mega wonderful family. Everypony, meet everypony. Surely thy name is not but Granny Smith. I am called Igneous Rock Pie, son of Feldspar Granite Pie. Thou shalt know me as Cloudy Quartz. May Providence favor thee well, and to thou comfort our humble homestead bring. Y'all gabbing with words real funny like, eh, well, well, what you say them names were? Iggy? And now I'm, I'm just gonna call you Big Mama Q. Gaze into the eyes of Limestone Pie. Ma and Pa may own this rock farm, but I keep it running. Cross me and... I no one's gonna mess with your precious mind. Or Holder's Boulder. <sighs> Every pony stay away from Holder's Boulder. There, you happy now? And you must be... This is Marble Pie, my baby sister who's only a few minutes younger than me, but she'll always be a baby to me, isn't that right? She's so excited to meet Every Pony. Oh, and she wishes you all a happy heart swarming. Mm-hmm. Guess Pinkie Pie always did the talking for her. <laughs> Attention! What I say about the boulder? Oh, just be a second. Every pony, get settled in. There's plenty of room upstairs, and then it's time for Heart Swarming Eve dinner! So far, so good, cousin. Oh, I can't wait to taste their fresh sweet rolls. They're my favorite part of Parts Warm Ye dinner. I'm more of a six-layer bean dip filling myself. I love that too. Oh, Applejack, do you think those will be even better than ours? Oh, that's a mighty tall order, but it wouldn't surprise me in the least. Are you excited for dinner time? Because guess who is? Spoiler alert, it's me! What about hot rolls, and mulled cider, and double-baked pot pie? What about six-layer bean dip? We have rock soup. Potato, potato, double-baked pot pie, rock soup. Dinner is dinner. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, um, you know what? This is what we were expecting. Right, every pony? Uh... <laughs> ah. Is everything all right, Applejack? Of course. I'm just being a rusty fiddle. Tune me up and let's get back to dinner. Now that's something I know all about. Who wants a heart swarming doll? Are you saying that rock is a heart swarming doll? Don't be silly, silly. 
our dolls are these little pieces. Isn't that right, Marble Pie? Mm-hmm. Our dolls are rocks? Uh, Y'all don't have traditional crochet dolls passed down in your family? Oh, you're just a frown factory because you've got a weird rock. Cheer up! I'm sure you'll do great in the flag finding mission. The what finding what now? Limestone Pie, you're the judge. Big Mac, Marble Pie, you're team one. Apple Bloom and Mod, you're team two. Ma, Pa, you're gonna be with Granny Smith. Don't think of it as team old. Think of it as team three. And I'm with Applejack, of course, since we might be cousins. So now that we're all split up, mind telling us what we're doing? As every pony knows. Stay up, Holder's Boulder. Sheesh. When the three tribes united to form Equestria, the first flag was sewn by Nimble Thimble. It's tradition to raise a flag on hearts warming to celebrate that famous day. Sure. Yeah. Away she goes. Mm -hmm. But who gets to put the flag on Holder's Boulder? You mean on the flagpole? No, silly. It goes on the highest point. And who's the lucky pony? Uh, traditionally, it's the youngest. On your mark, get set, go! Pinkie Pie, will you please tell us what's going on? I'll explain on the way. No! I still don't understand. Earlier today, Limestone Pie hit an obsidian stone. Whoever finds it gets to raise the flag. It's all just so complicated. And rock-based. Well, how else would we do it? I don't know. I sure hope every pony else is having a better time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, how'd you meet this diggy feller? We were chosen by the Paring Stone and betrothed within a fortnight. The Choosing Stone decreed, Thou shalt love one another. And lo, it was so. Hoo-wee, I got to look into this old fangled Choosing Stone thing. Do you reckon it knows any apple farming hunks? Indeed mm -hmm. so. What does the rock look like? It looks like something that formed when volcanic lava cooled quickly. Oh. Have you ever wished you could turn into a rock? I had a dream once I was an apple. We have a lot in common when it comes to thinking about turning into things. Found it, found it, found it! A picture? I've been looking for a real stone, Pinkie Pie. Um, that would be weird. Do you know what this means? I get to raise the flag, and now it's time to hide the presents! Y'all hide your presents? Of course! What's more fun than getting a present? Finding a present! Although, most years, no pony finds one. So, no pony gets presents? Eh, not usually. So, let me get all this straight. You're only allowed to eat rock soup for dinner. Then, the pony who finds this rock gets to raise the flag. But not really, because you don't got no flagpole. And to top it off, you don't even get presents? Well, doesn't sound very fun when you say it that way. Well, how about you picture this? Both our families, opening presents, raising the flag. Picturing it? Loving it? Good night, every pony. Good night, Pinkie Pie. We gotta do something, y'all. Pinkie Pie's family never had a real heartwarming. Is that really what you see? Well, I I'm sure it's what she meant. These are their traditions. Yep. <sighs> I know they have their traditions, and we have ours, but I just want them to see how much better theirs could be. Your way, I thought we could mix it up a bit. 
Marble Pie, you could raise the equestrian flag up this pole because you're the youngest pie. Ma and Pa Pie will cook you up a meal you'll never forget. And look, we all get presents without having to find them. Yeah! This is gonna be great! All the stuff she said! Right, everypony? Pink Amina Diane Pie. Truly thou do not favor this madness. Well, I want to be one big family. But what about what we usually do? I, um, well, I don't know. Don't make me choose. I didn't mean to cause a fuss. Why don't we just open presents around the flagpole? It'll be fun. You'll see. Excuse me. You planted your pole on a fault line. to go. We don't need any pony forcing their way into our family. This was all a misunderstanding, every pony. I know Applejack, and she never do anything bad to any pony. Look around, Pinkie Pie. It's gonna take me ages to get this rock farm back on track. And how are we gonna lift Holder's boulder? This is all her fault. Then it's my fault, too. Probably best if we head back to Sweet Apple Acres. And maybe in time we'll be friends again. Uh, but for the now, it's best if we give them a little space. I wish we didn't have to. I really like Maud. She's sweet once you get to know her. They all are. Worst hearth swarming ever. Uh, has any pony seen Applejack? <sighs> I really cracked the corn this time. I really popped the pinata this time. Pinkie Pie? Ah! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I, I came, came here, here to think. think. You, you did? did? So, so did I. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm too ashamed to go back up there. Your family, my family, they almost think I'm such a nincompoop. Aw, no one thinks that. Pushy, aggressive, mean. Oh, I'm not helping. Sorry. I'm sorry I forced my traditions over yours. I don't want you to have to choose between the family you were born into and the friends who love you like one. I really hoped we could be one big happy family. I guess not. Don't say that! I wish I could stay, but I have a train to catch. <laughs> happy heart swerving. You too. know why Holder's boulder is so dang it important. <laughs> well, now, their great, 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 great grandfather, Holder Cobblestone, he found that boulder in a dragon's nest, older than time itself. He built the family farm around it, even though it was just an ordinary rock. It's always brought them good luck. Oh, crickets. That is important. I got so caught up in the things they were doing, I never asked why they did them. <laughs> Two Applejack from Pinkie Pie. Cousins forever. You just found your first pie heart swarming present ever! <laughs> Only Pinkie Pie could hide a present on a moving train. What a great tradition. Stop the train! I'm pushing as hard as I can, too. Oh, it's hopeless! Need a little help? Apples! What do you want? I wasn't trying to take your traditions away. I was trying to share ours. I was so focused on us being one big happy family, I thought we needed the same traditions right away. What I should have done is learn about yours and teach you about ours. 
and over time, we'd make new traditions together. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, don't just stand there. We got a boulder to move. And I'm in charge. <laughs> First one is about rocks. They're all about rocks. Hearth swarming is great, like calcium silicate. What a wonderful day, as good as mica or clay. 